Hello everyone, welcome to the Morrowind Book Club. Today we're going to be reading Mixed Unit Tactics, Volume 1, or is that Version 1? I'm going to go ahead with Volume 1. Or maybe it's, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and get started. Mixed Unit Tactics in the Five Years War, Volume 1. There it is, right there. Lycotus Kalonus. The legions could learn from the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Years' War against Valenwood. It was sta- uh, st uh, sorry, I was stationed at the Sphinx Moth Legion Fort on the border near Dune and witnessed many of the northern skirmishes firsthand. The war started with the so-called Slaughter of Torval. The Khajiit claim, Khajiit claim that the Bosmer invaded the city without provocation and killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claimed that the attack was in retaliation for Khajiiti bandits who were attacking wood caravans headed for Valenwood. Or Valenwood. Valen? Yeah, Valenwood sounds right. In the spring of Third Era 396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinx Moth. That is to say that three times fast. Fort, Fort Sphinx Moth. Fort Sphinx Moth. I was posted on Lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosmer who fought in the battle and it would serve as an ex excellent example of how the Khajiit used a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in an unusual way by sending tree-cutting teams of uh, Cathay Rot and the fearsome uh, Sencha Rot, or Battle Cats, into the outskirts of Valen Woods forests. When word reached the Bosmer that trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri religion, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts to the, in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. The Bosmer archers took up positions in the remaining trees, whose branches were now 20 or more feet apart, allowing some light into the forest floor. Bosmer bent the remaining trees with their magics into small fortifications from which to fire their bows. When the tree cutters arrived the next morning, a half dozen Khaj uh, Khajiit fell to the Bosmer arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Sencha Rot and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even the enormous Sencha Rot, were able to hide between this shelter and one of the larger trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit could not leave their shelter, some Bosmer cho uh, choose, chose, choose to descend and engage the Khajiit, sword to claw. When the Bosmer were nearly upon the shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing on a native instrument pl of plucked metal bars. This was, was si yeah, this was a signal of some kind, and a small group of the man-like Ohms and Omrats um, emerged from covered holes on the forest floor. Uh, if you're wondering, um, I, I don't know if you're that, that, that familiar. If you, uh, I don't even know if we actually looked at them. We might have looked at them. Uh, in Arena and Daggerfall, uh, the Khajiit that are in there are not the Khajiit that you see in, uh, Morrowind On. I actually might have started in Battlespire. Uh, anyways, there are different sort of subspecies of, uh, Khajiit. And the Ohms Rot, if I recall correctly, are almost human-like, and I'm guessing the Ohms are as well. So maybe Ohms and then Ohms Rot are like a little bit somewhere between the, the full cats and the the, the, the human-like ones. Um, there's, there's stuff online, you can find that. But I just figured, you know, in, ca in case you just jumped in on like Morrowind or you're co going backwards from, uh, you know, you playing Skyrim, because <laughs> we know I'm not getting there for a while. Um, yeah, just figured it'd be good uh, for you to know. Although numbered, they were attacking, okay, sorry. Uh, they emerged from covered holes in the fourth floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosmer archers in the trees would have still won the battle were they not having troubles of their own. A group of Dagi and Dagi Rot, two of the less common forms of Khajiit, who live in the trees of the, the Tenmar forest, jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could not hold a Bosmer's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws in either torches or spells of fire, accounts from the two survivors I spoke with vary on this point, to distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place. A few of the archers were able to flee, but most were killed. Apparently, the Dagi and Dagi Rot have more magical ability than is widely believed if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. 
One of the surviving Bosmer told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the Dagi and even claimed that these ordinary cats are known as uh, Elfik and that they were the spellcasters. But Bosmer are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth. And I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of a force of no more than four dozen, while the Bosmer lost nearly an entire company of archers. The survivors were unable to report back before a second company of archers arrived and this strategy was repeated again, with similar results. Finally, a much larger force was sent and the Bosmer won that battle with the help of the native animals of Vale and Wood. That third skirmish and the Khajiiti response I will discuss in the second volume of the series. Interesting. Uh, I, I'd like to see, like, I, I, I find it very interesting how the, the Khajiit are treated like, like, like this strange mystery, like all oh, these different uh, races, like sub, sub uh, classes of them or subspecies of them and all that. Um, and how like the authors just kind of like, I'm not quite sure. I don't even, I don't even know. And the Bosmer don't even know. Like to me, like if it was up to me, uh, <laughs> if it was up to me, um, the next Elder Scrolls would take place not in a single province. I do not think that that would be, um, I don't think that's the way to go. I would like to see, uh, the, uh, Southwest, the Southwest of, uh, of Tamriel. I would like to see maybe a cross section between uh, uh, Valenwood and um, crap. I can't remember the Khajiiti place. There it is. Right, right. Oh my goodness. Elsewhere. Um, oh, I feel, feel dumb for forgetting that one. Because uh, for, for the longest time, I'm like, I'd love to see, I feel like elsewhere in Valenwood, you've got like this sort of desert area. And then you also have like a jungle right there. Like you've got this perfect sort of mix where you could have these really interesting geography. Like you could have these really interesting, cool settings. Uh, and you've got these two races that are so unlike uh, what we've got with like the, the, the your typical Imperial and these typical fantasy type stuff we've seen. Like, yay, Vikings, uh, or, you know, the Nord, whatever, you know, okay. That, 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 yeah, that's interesting. And Oblivion is like, oh, yay. You know, it's like Romans, except and with, with no jungle, like there was supposed to be. Um, you know, it's kind of bland. Uh, and Mortwin was really cool because of this, uh, this the, the alien nature. And I really think that having like an elsewhere Valenwood sort of cross section and then maybe an expansion taking place in the Somerset Isle, you know, sort of hit those three, those three areas uh, down in the, the, the southwest part of Tamriel, I think would be really, uh, really cool. But anyways, you know, this is uh, way too much uh, talk um, in response to a book. I should save some of this these opinions for like the main series in case people have decided to skip this reading, which you shouldn't be. You should be re reading along in the Morrowind book club. Um, and uh, you know, if you liked this, if you liked this video, you like the, the chit chat and stuff like that, um, give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, whatever, leave it a thumbs down. Um, either way, let me know what you thought. Hey, do you have, a, do you have opinions of where the next Elder Scrolls should take place and stuff? You know what? Yeah, drop that in the comment section. It, it, drop everything, anything you want in the comment section. You know what? Drop your favorite recipes in the comment section, and I will. If I see something I have the ingredients for, I may try it. Yes, sure. Um, no promises. It, regardless, until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.